Good day. Welcome to King Wilma's Everything. Today we have an unboxing of a camera, a P camera. This is a, what brand is this? What are you? Let's see. I think it's, you can see here's some uh, QR codes for the operating systems. And there's a, a barcode SDETR 720p Wi-Fi. One alarm baby monitor, new. So it's SDETR. That's the pan tilt zoom camera, or supposedly it's a pan tilt zoom, but it has Wi Fi. A free app, thank you. Night vision, IR illuminators, that's kind of nice. Plug and play, and motion detection. So I'm hoping this guy has a web interface and not just have to use their crap software. But uh, you can see family, pet, shop, and factory. But what we're going to do with this fellow is we're going to have some indoor fun with it. And if it works out, I'm hoping we can mount this inside an outdoor dome enclosure and have it outside because this is an indoor camera. But you can see they didn't even say their name on here. It should be a clue, the quality of it. You have to look on the little bar tag, so it's probably whoever made it. So let's open this up and see what's inside this fellow, let's see what kind of goodness is inside him. All right, so it looks like we have a Cat5 cable. Ooh, a very flimsy Cat5 cable, but that's fine. A manual uh, called user instructions. Let's see. Oh, QR code. Oh, boy. We got apps. Uh, configuration. Oh, boy. I don't see any web interface. Camera settings. Do we have a web interface? That's what's most important to me. I kind of despise cameras that do not have a web interface because you're kind of screwed. Uh, I show them installing their software. Hmm. Well, let's take a look at it. We have a mount. So, oh, here we go. A very flimsy mount. So you can mount this on your wall. The flimsiest of possible mounts. A oh, USB plug so it must be five volts kind of large for a five volts but whatever USB cable and mr. camera oh and what else we got in here a little mounting hardware so you can stick in drywall but we're interested in this fellow Ooh, she is very light uh, so it does have a mount so I'm not sure if this would actually be able to put into a, a dome enclosure. It's possible. Because that's what we want. We want to do it outdoors. But for now, we're having it inside. Yeah, let's see. And see them. This is uh, IR Night Vision. It's got a little green LED. I'm not sure what that is. It's got the infrared illuminators. Looks like an IRS sensor there, so it kind of detects it. Antenna, and this one did something kind of cool. SD card, uh, Ethernet cord, Ethernet port, reset button, and DC five volts. So that's kind of cool. That's interesting that they put uh, five volt power supply. So we're gonna plug this in and see what she does. Let's see. S D E T E R. Stitter. Not sure I would even pronounce it. These sell on Amazon um, for like $40. They're very inexpensive. Super inexpensive. So you kind of know the difference between an $800 camera and a $30 camera is going to be a lot, a lot of features. And we'll open this guy up. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, here we go. And I'll plug it in. I wonder if it, you probably probably this from your computer. It is very light, very light duty. But as long as she works, I'm okay with that. So let's plug it in. So let's read the manual first. Uh, download the app. Oh no. Configuration, quick setup. I don't like this at all. Why can't you give me a web interface? Here's PC, 
home page. So it's got some PC software. I'm going to guess there is no web interface for this guy. Anyway, let's plug it in. Okay, I got a plug. i got to find a plug. i to find a plug when I need a plug. But now I've got a plug. Let's plug it in. Let's see what happens when she fires up. Did I plug it in? I think I plugged it in. Give me a little tick noise. There we go. So it looks like it kind of goes through its uh, self-centering. A little green light is blinking. It made a little sound. I think it's because we don't have the internet plugged in. But we'll go plug it in and we'll take a look at the, the interface. Okay, so it does have a web interface. I did a scan, I saw port, port 80 is open, and voila, we're in. Password, username was admin admin. So let's look at some of the settings. And you kind of see uh, the video format, we're set that 60 hertz because we're in the US, uh, some resolution, uh, minimum frame rates, maximum, let's see. Keep frames. Looks like I got a bunch of image settings. There were some resolutions. Uh, so some nice generic -y things. Let's see what else we got in bit rates, uh, maximum frame rates, all adjustable. I'm going to apply that. And let's go into let's see, video resolution, offset. Uh, uh, on-screen display, because at the time, camera name. So if you want the on-screen time. Uh, some image settings. Uh, you can tweak your uh, brightness, saturation, contrast, and sharpness. Flip it, mirror it. Uh, turn the R infrared LEDs auto, on or off. And there's some audio settings, because it has, it has a speaker in it and a, a microphone. It's a pretty good camera for the price. Uh, let's look at the network. You can see I got as far as DCP. Uh, you can set the RST, RTSP ports and the HTTP port. And the wireless, I don't have it connected right now to the wireless. to have a wire in it. And ONIF, P2P. And the alarms. So we can do alarms on or off. You can set the type of alarms. If it sends an email, save a picture, FTP, that kind of fun stuff. And here's some advanced to user. Change your username and password. Uh, here's for your SD card. You can automatically have it set to automatically save a picture every now and then. Here's the scheduling. So if you want to schedule, I don't want to record during these these hours, that kind of stuff. So it gives you some nice detailed settings for that. So that's kind of nice. The time record and email is where you define your uh, SM, SMTP, SML transport uh, server for mail. I haven't done that yet, but I'm going to. And we got FTP in a terminal, which um, you can see that sets how fast it spins, uh, some self checks, that kind of thing. And time. Under, let's see, you can set your time. It already comes defined, time.nist.gov. Very nice. You can set your time zone. So it's kind of cool out there. They, uh, they put an NTP server in there for you, so you don't have to look that up. And there's initialize, so you can reboot it, factory default it there, and do firmware updates. So that's kind of nice. There's already a firmware update for this. And here's the device information. It gives you the basic information about the, uh, the camera. And there's a system log. So it gives you a little bit of information what's going on, who's logging in. So it looks like a pretty decent camera. Uh, web interface wise, so that's nice, gives you all the basics. And let's just zoom around. Let's do some twirling here, give me an idea. And this this is default out of the box, so nothing's been changed. So you're looking at kind of uh, default settings. 
It's going to spin around. Clicking away here. And it does a nice uh, pan around. There's Snoopy. I can do some presetting. So preset one is this location. Preset two is that location. And it's kind of up and down. I think I just I clicked the middle button. So it's going to must be doing some kind of centering. So what, for 30 bucks, you can't go wrong with this camera. So that's basically the web interface, you know. Uh, nice, simple. If you ever used the IP camera, this is basically your basic IP camera. Um, it's kind of a generic one. There's no names or anything, but uh, Chinese camera. Okay, that was the S-D-E-T-E-R PTZ camera. You know, now that I noticed it has a web interface, I'm going to say this is a good camera. I'm going to let it run for a while and put some hours on it and see what we get. Um, my main requirement is a web interface, uh, port 80. Uh, so and it does have that. It does work really well. It has a fairly decent picture. Um, you can set the the speed that it twirls and stuff like that and you can set some presets so that's kind of cool um, the web interface automatically has some timer recordings and it can do alarming so it looks like it's got some good decent features and for the price I'm thinking this was 30 bucks a very decent camera it's just got a QR code on the bottom but um, you know you can use the software if you like it's your choice you probably uh, want it on your on your phone which is fine um, but, you know, if you're doing uh, 100 cameras, you know, you want to have an easy way to manage these. But if you just have one or two, decent camera. Um, can't tell from the box who actually makes it. But um, even the web interface really doesn't say S-D-E-T-E-R, S-D-E-T-E-R, S-D-E-T-E-R. But it does have a generic web interface. There's no name on it. So it's whatever, you know, manufacturer in China was that's what this is I don't like that this is a little wobbly but that's okay I mean we're gonna have it sitting on a shelf so it's not gonna be wobbled but I could see if you had this in a dome you know, it has a little bit of vibration you're gonna be uh, that vibrations gonna multiply by the time it gets to the, the camera head but I think for sitting on a shelf this would be good so that's on my main goal is for now but I would like to put it in a dome at some point but Thinking that it's kind of flimsy, loosey goosey. Maybe not, but it has audio, has all the neat features. Well, I'm not gonna, we're not going to use, but uh, the Wi-Fi will probably use that. But looks like a decent camera, and for the price, you can't go wrong. So that's the S D E T A R 720P camera. Let's see, IP camera, as they like to call it. You know, for the price, I can't go wrong with that. Um, there's the uh, barcode if you want to get yourself the barcode. There you go. So anyway, that's the camera. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing and the slight short review. Have a great day.